He liked blowing up stuff when he was a kid. <laughs> G.I. Joe figures had a bad day with him. We used to make these hunting videos and uh, made some uh, bombs. We made that. I don't know if that's okay to say on camera. No, but. <laughs> he asked uh, why he never got put in timeout. He, would, he said, why don't I ever get put in timeout? Because his friends were. And he said, could I get put in timeout sometimes? <laughs> 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 Okay, so tell me about Alex. About Alex? Yeah. Well, parent standpoint she's always been super easy I'd say from early on she knew what was right what she ought to do and just made parenting with her being our first it made parenting really really easy can't thank me anything but good things Alex and I get along really well, and I really consider her one of my best friends. I tell her everything. So he's just always fitting in. It's, he just seemed like one of us, one of the family, and it's just always been great. You know, he always finds a way to befriend the person that's kind of getting left out in the room. And his first thought is not to go to the table that's, you know, the happening spot or the place where all the fun conversation. He's going to go find the person that, that looks like no one's talking to them or that they're sitting there by themselves and, and you know, always make a point to, to make them feel included and loved. I, you know, text her a little bit off and on and uh, it's like, oh, we should set a formal date, you know, so we, we set up a date to go to the cock of the walk. I didn't eat much. I wasn't very hungry because I was just so nervous. We took home a lot of leftovers and um, five or so days later um, we decided to get back together and uh, um, she came over to my house and we were like let's just reheat those questionable seafood leftovers that we have. She'll eat some some potentially dangerous leftovers so she's not afraid, she's adventurous I guess. We, uh, we sat there and we finished our food and I was sitting on the couch with her and uh, I was like so let's get down to business like what do you what do you want out of a guy? It just seemed like everything she said that night was just verbatim what had gone over in my head over and over again before what I was looking for. And, uh, 
it was uh, might have been too good to be true at that time, but it didn't take me but a couple weeks to, um, to figure out it was something real. But yeah, within the first few weeks, I I, I wasn't 100 percent sure that I knew what love was at that point, but I can I can say for sure now that it was it happened pretty quick. Cool. Thought you were getting a watch, open the door and find your real kid. I be with. I be with. And with loyal love. With loyal love. I be in doubt. I be in doubt. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. She's the love of my life. One of the kindest, most selfless people I've ever met. I couldn't ask for a better life, mate. I mean, she, she genuinely wants the best for me and uh, without saying it I mean with her actions she just it's just obvious she she loves me